All right, guys, this is our new student, Sophia. I'd love it if you can give her a nice, warm welcome. Left me without anything to say. Now I'm speechless, over the edge, I'm just breathless. I never thought that I'd catch this love bug again. Hopeless, head over heels in the moment. He loves me, he loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not. Um, Caroline, can't you see we're trying to film a show here? Oh, right, <laughs> my bad. Welcome, Welcome to, to show 20. Apaches, want to show off your pride and be the face of Arcadia at countless sporting events? Then try out for Pep Squad. All guys and girls are welcome. There will be a mandatory informational meeting at 7 p.m. on Tuesday, February 27th in the multi-purpose room. Don't forget to bring a parent. If you have any questions, email Ms. Erickson at terickson at awsd.net. Unlike my heart, this rocket didn't fall. From space, that is. Houston, we have a success. On Tuesday, February 6th, the private space company SpaceX launched the world's most powerful operational rocket, the Falcon Heavy, at the Kennedy Space Center. With over 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, it can lift up to 64 tons into orbit and is expected to haul large payloads like satellites into space. For its maiden flight, the rocket contained a Tesla Roadster, being ridden by a mannequin named Starman. As it travels through space at high speeds, the Tesla Roadster has become the only and fastest car in space. When it came to landing its three booster rockets, two of them were able to land simultaneously, with the third booster unfortunately crashing into the ocean. Uh, what they've shown is, is that they can carry a payload uh, that's a lot bigger than, than most rockets or any other rocket currently in operation. Uh, it's not quite as big as the Saturn V rocket that took us to the moon but it can carry a payload that's three times bigger than their Falcon 9 rocket. Hopefully they continue to do the work and a lot of uh, exploration on it so that uh, we can possibly explore the moon again and maybe even get to Mars. Well, that was surely out of this world. This has been Eric, back to you guys in the studio. CSF applications for fall semester 2018 will be available on the ASB website beginning Monday, February 12th. Click on your corresponding class Fill out the application and return it completed with a photocopy of your first semester report card. The ASB office will be taking applications until Friday, February 23rd at 3 p.m. If you can't find your report card, you can grab a replacement copy from the ASB office for a fee of $5. If there are any questions, please see the CSF advisor for your class. Want to know more about classes offered at Arcadia High School? Check out Beyond You Tuesday, February 20th at 6 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Industry professionals and teachers will be showcasing dynamic, hands-on classes offered at Arcadia High School, like APN. Explore the world beyond the classroom and learn skills to succeed in the future. Listen, I know we've been anchoring together for a while now, but last week you anchored with Naomi, and our therapist told me to communicate with you better, so that wasn't okay with me. What, what are you saying? I'm saying we need a break. Whatever you do, do not read this poster. I know it's right here in front of you, but don't look at it. Don't you dare think about how the meetings are at lunch, or how the AP Bio meeting is in the lecture hall February 12th. Hey, you in the back! Yeah, you! I see you reading! Stop that! You next him! Stop him quickly! Before he learns that the meeting dates range between the 12th and the 23rd. Okay, good. <sighs> he stopped. Don't read this poster, whatever you do. Got it? Now let's move on before somebody else reads this thing. Hey Melanie, where in the world can you dance? Um, the city of love? What? No. San Francisco! Yay! 
Well, you can also dance at Dance Day. Here's Jake with the details. This Saturday, Orcas' Dance Company got the groove on at Dance Day. Last Saturday, Arcadia Orcas' Dance Company held their annual Dance Day. The event invited kids from kindergarten to eighth grade to be introduced to dance in the Orcas' Dance Program. To conclude the class, the students were able to perform the new dance routine they were taught. It went really well. The parents were really happy with the performances and everything, and they even asked for an encore. Dance Day to the community, it's a way for kids who are really involved in dance to get exposed to high school dance, and it's also a good way for kids that don't really dance that often to have a chance to kind of familiarize themselves with it and see if it's a potential interest for them in the future. Great job, ladies. This has been Jake. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Jake. Tune into Wellness Week starting next Monday, February 12th to February 16th at the Rally Court during lunch for different resources regarding your health. And don't forget to attend the Mental Health Seminar hosted by Voices of Ability at the PAC from 4 to 5.30 p.m. on Friday. February calls for a new month and new loves. Johanna may have just found a club that you can't help but fall in love with. Mental health and disabilities are a neglected cause, but this club uses their voices as their ability to raise awareness. Voices of Ability is a club that began last year which focuses on destigmatizing disabilities, educating and empowering people. Their meetings are every Tuesday at lunch in C113 and educates about disabilities through activities and events, such as an upcoming yoga session to help with self-management and next week's Wellness Week. So Wellness Week is a week that focuses on promoting general wellness, self-care and mental health awareness. I think a lot of students like myself have experience being really stressed out, so it's really important to take that week of positivity and use that to take care of yourself and it's part of like a growing consciousness of mental health in the world. Wellness Week consists of six events, each focusing on a general goal such as healthy eating or positivity to help with an individual's well-being over the span of five days through the involvement of multiple clubs. Hope to see you guys all there. Whether it's spreading awareness or dealing with your own well-being, both Voices of Ability and Wellness Week may just be the perfect things for you. How much do you love our planet? Enough to make a difference? Here's the last installment of our environmental sustainability documentary. Now that we know what the situation is, we can start working on the solution. The first thing you can do is to make minor changes to your everyday lifestyle. Take shorter showers, turn off the lights, unplug your electronics when you're not using them. If you're really serious about the environment, however, there are many more ways to contribute. And I would also just say, what are your strengths? What are your passions? Students really have to also do some inner work in terms of what drives them, what motivates them, and then how does that resonate with environmental issues. Because no one wants to necessarily be told, right, yeah. like this top-down hammer. Um, but it's like what, what moves you and then what can you contribute? Because then it's genuine and then it's actually truly sustainable because you can't burn out. Like that's the problem with sustainability too, right? You, you have to find the fire inside. Changing small things is a definite step forward. But one of the best ways to help out the planet is to get your hands dirty and do some community service, planting trees, cleaning up quarries, and picking up trash. As the next generation to inherit the earth, it is our responsibility to start taking care of it. We as a community have to come together. But don't worry, you aren't expected to move the mountain yourself. I would encourage um, all of you and you know students and others to do some research and to think about what you're interested in. Are you interested in water or air or waste or um, just the science under the scientific underpinnings of our policies? And to do some research to figure out you know what it is that you are most interested in conserving or saving or trying to better. You can wait and delay and stall and never begin your environmental savings, hoping that others will do it for you. What what moves you and then what can you contribute? We can all contribute to mitigating climate change. The more that people talk about climate change, the more quickly it becomes understood how serious it is. Let's think about what we can do to make sure that our children and our great-grandchildren and our great-grandchildren can have a good world to live in. We only have one Earth. i am be Benjamin Panza, and thank you for joining us. Hey, Melanie. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're such a great friend, and I love you. Oh, thank you. A, a ball? Well, those were supposed to be flowers, but if the ball's here, then that must mean that the flowers are at... Sports. Huh, that's not right. What? Ugh. Though February is all about love, that was the last thing Crescenta Valley was willing to give. 
On Tuesday, girls water polo was prepped and ready for their game against the undefeated Falcons competing for their spot in league. However, from the start of the game, Crescenta Valley proved to be a difficult team to beat as they scored two goals in the first minute of the game. Our girls fought back hard with their defense, trying their best to hold down TV's unyielding offense. But CV was able to bypass all our efforts and scored what seemed to be never-ending goals. In the end, the Apache's communication, fast blocks, and determination to win allow them to score some of their own points, ending the game with a score of 19 to 7. Our team practices a lot of long distance and sprinting, so we tend to counter a lot in games. Since we have a pretty wide pool, we can like push the other players like out of bounds and make a lot of room so we can like drive. Their weakness was probably because CV is really fast, so we had to um, make sure that we were on our guards at all times. Because we lost to CV, that means that we're going to be playing Glendale on Thursday. And depending on how we do against Glendale, we're either going to get third or fourth in league, and that depends who we play like in CIS. Though it was a tough game, great job in your season so far, girls. Now here's Trevor with girls basketball and Bradford with boys soccer. On Tuesday, girls basketball team faced off against Glendale in an intense game. Starting off on the right foot, the Lady Apaches managed to prevail in the first quarter, with their opponents barely managing to keep up with their speed. However, Glendale went on the offensive and caught up to them during the second quarter, with their quick wits and teamwork turning the tables around. After the halfway point, our Lady Apaches worked harder on their layups and began strong, taking charge in the third quarter. But at the end, their communication attempts were not able to meet that of Glendale, and Arcadia lost by a two-point margin with a score of 35-37. to We played okay. There are a lot of mistakes we made that we could definitely improve on, but overall, the little mistakes cost us in the end. We need to make sure that our rotations are correct because we sometimes give up layups and besides that we played pretty well. Hope to wish them the best of luck for the rest of the season. This week boys soccer played Pasadena and kicked some and clinched CIF. The boys catapulted to a 3-0 lead in the first half but ran into problems as the game progressed. Pasadena started to win more 50-50 balls and used a long ball to their advantage which led to two goals that brought them back into the game. However, Arcadia started shoring up their defense and played the ball through the midfield, especially in the last few minutes where it looked like we wanted it more. We ended up clinging on to the win, with the final score being 3-2. Yeah, well we were just hungry for that CIF spot. This was like a deciding game and last time we played these guys, we got off to a really bad start and we took a bitter L. So this time we were just coming out, just ready to go, like ready to get them on their backs. For our next game this Thursday, I think we need to work on our passing a little more and our fitness because we did break down a little bit at the end and the other team was working us better. So I think we work on that, we come back and we'll win against CV. Great job boys and good luck in the playoffs. Just like relationships, good things never last. And neither will this backdrop. By Friday, March 2nd, the backdrop contest will come to an end with the winner being announced. Thanks to all who are submitting their work. And congrats to the last show's winner, Michael Iniguez, for guessing our outro song, American Boy by Estelle and Kanye West. If you also want a chance to get a shout out, comment the title of our outro song and your name down below. And be sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts listed below to keep updated. Look, Melanie, can we just try to work it out? Anchoring with you again has made me realize how good we are together. <sighs> Melanie, come back. I thought you'd never ask. With love, this has been Caroline. And this has been Melanie. Happy early Valentine's Day, Apaches. Bye.